So now we're actually going to create sets, um, and we're going to show you some examples of how to do that. So let's say, for example, um, you want to make an empty set. You say S is going to be designated as set, which takes in parameters. In this case, we're going to pass in no parameters, and it's going to see nothing as a parameter. So when we say that we want to examine what S is, we would expect to see that S is an empty set. Um, and sure looks like set is an empty set because we gave it no arguments. Um, similarly, if we actually give it arguments, let's say we're going to feed it a list that contains elements cat, um, cow, and dog, it's going to loop over this list as separate as um, individual elements inside. So you would have the string of cat, the string of cow, and the string of dog as um, elements to be put inside your set. So if we have this print, um, this s function right here, we say what is s going to contain? We would expect to see that you have cat, cow, and dog in here because all elements are unique. It's looping over each separate iterable element here. However, if we gave s um, a different parameter, such as a string, let's say a string of wahoo, and let me just clear that, it's going to loop through the elements inside the string of wahoo. So instead of having wahoo to be as the only element in the set, you would actually loop through w and a and h and the both of the o's. However, sets have unique elements, so when you say what is s, we're going to get that s contains these strings or characters w, a, h, and o. Notice that the order is unpredictable. In this case, it's um, actually almost similar to Wahoo as the order, but you can't actually predict what the order of the set is going to be. That's really based on how Python 3 will choose to hash it. Um, you can also make s, instead of writing set of something, you can just directly write um, add in statically allocating the elements, such as like 2, 3, and 5. And that's how you make a set as you would for a regular list. So s equals that, and we should print that as well. So it's a set of 2, 3, and 5. Um, one last thing is to note that if we actually say we want an empty set and we use these brackets right here, and we would say whether we would assume that s is a, is a set. However, um, you can actually test this out. So we're going to say that whether, let's say that type of s equals set, as we would expect. Um, however, this is actually going to be um, false, because s is actually a dictionary. And this is something that we will talk about later on. Um, and you'll learn about dictionaries in the next few videos when you, when you watch them, but I'm just going to show you right here. Because S is a dictionary, it's not a set. If you choose to designate it with empty brackets, um, that actually gives you a dictionary.